All right, this is Mr. Kirk. Welcome back to Amplify. This will be our last week in the Harnessing Human Energy unit. So go there and we're going to be over in Chapter 3, Designing an Energy Solution. And we're going to start in Lesson 3.1, reading about energy solutions. You'll start with the warm-up where you're gonna review this article, the hand crank flashlight article, which if you click that will take you to the article that we read last week. You can reread it um, if you need to be reminded. And I want you to answer this question based on new evidence that you got from reading that article. Do you think that a hand crank flashlight would be a good energy system for the rescue workers. Why or why not, All right? So when you type in your answer here, remember, I want complete sentences in your answer. Otherwise, you will not get full credit. So to answer this properly is probably three to five complete sentences. Shouldn't take you more than five to 10 minutes depending on if you need to reread that article. All right, in section two, I get a chance to introduce to you this um, sorting tool. It's an energy diagram. Close that. Uh, we call it an energy transfer diagram where we can actually show how energy moves from uh, one object to another. So in this case, I'm going to start with the first step, which is using a hand crank generator. So um, using a hand crank flashlight, a person would crank this portion, which would turn a generator on the inside. And what generators do, all generators convert mechanical energy, like me moving that crank into electrical energy, okay? <clears throat> now, generators are in other places like cars, for instance, where the mechanical energy that is created when gasoline explodes and turns a crankshaft, <clears throat> that gets turned into electrical energy. So in every car, we have a battery. And um, as a person is driving around in the car, the generator is being moved mechanically and it is converting that into electrical energy. So instead of using a combustible energy uh, engine in this flashlight, I'm using a person to move that around, okay? And obviously people have limitations, right? There's, uh, they can only turn for so fast for so long, but to light up a light, it does not require a lot of energy. So this kinetic energy, the mechanical energy of the person moving gets converted into electricity that's stored as potential energy in the battery. And then that, gets turned into light in the flashlight. So this electrical energy that's potential then gets converted into light energy. And this is the energy diagram, the energy transfer diagram of what is taking place in the hand crank flashlight, okay? So, in section three, that's just section two. It's just a little simple uh, guided conversation where I get to explain to you um, what a energy transfer diagram is. Now what you're going to do is there's a set of articles that you are going to read one of those articles, okay? And you've read, you've read the article um, we talked about earlier, the hand crank flashlight. You choose one, only one of these four, the energy capturing backpack, the energy capturing bike, the energy capturing knee brace, or the energy capturing rocking chair. And uh, you're gonna tell me here what article 
your reading. And then you're gonna use our active guiding, uh, our active reading guidelines in reading that, all right? So you're gonna think about what you've read, you're gonna pay attention to the article and your own understanding of the article. You're gonna make annotations to the text. Um, I want you to have at least three annotations where you're highlighting challenging words or you're adding notes. I want you to examine any and all visual representations closely and see how they go with the text, all right? And then afterwards, <clears throat> we are going to be um, discussing these articles in groups, okay? so. Um, what I need you to do is decide what you're going to read and hear, indicate here what you're going to read. And then um, on the web page and in the chat in our meeting on Monday, I'm going to have a link where on a Google form, you're going to tell me what you're going to read. And then I am going to assign groups based upon the readings. And I'm going to hopefully have an even distribution of the different articles and I'll put you together in groups so that when we meet again, whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday, you will have someone in your group who has read uh, the other articles and you guys will discuss that. Okay. So it's really important that you do this on Monday. You choose an article, tell me here what you're going to choose. Tell me in the Google form what you're going to choose and then read it with your annotations. And then on the, our next class session, whether that's Tuesday or Wednesday, I will put you into groups. You will discuss those four articles and you're gonna answer these questions. How does this system make a generator move? So at the hand crank, when a person turns the crank, the generator spins. So if you're the person that read the energy capturing backpack, how do you answer that question? Okay, how does this energy capturing backpack make a generator move? And you would tell the group the answer to this so that they could all write this in. And then what would the, uh, would the system be a good solution for the rescue team? Why or why not? Okay, um, in this case, you would say this person is saying no because the rescue workers would need to stop what they're doing to turn the crank. But would an energy capturing backpack be a better solution? And you guys um, would have this answer and whoever read that article, tell the group, this is what the article is about. And I think the answer is yes, or I would think the answer is no, and this is why. So we'll take some time in class where you will do all of this. You will all fill all of this out and hand this in, okay? And then the last, uh, section five with um, lesson 3.1, okay, is planning an energy solution for the rescue team. So the rescue workers need a way to get energy. That's the main problem that we're trying to solve, right? So what is the best way for the, the rescue workers to capture energy from their bodies motion during rescue missions? So while you're in your groups, after you've done section four, you will brainstorm some ideas for a system that captures energy. And you wanna make sure that the energy uh, transfer, that it transfers energy from the body, body's motion, that it's easy for the rescue team to use and is original, right? So you can't use any of these other things like uh, a hand crank flashlight or a backpack. You're gonna have to come up with your own design and then you're gonna describe it down here. You're gonna record your ideas. Again, I'd like complete sentences down here. And everyone in the group will fill this out. So not everyone in the group has to have the same idea. You guys may discuss this and have different ideas. That's fine. Um, you each are going to turn this in. So whether you all have the same ideas or you all have different ideas, record that down here and push the hand in button down here in the bottom and you're done with lesson 3.1.